Hey guys, I ordered one of the new Charlotte Tilbury uh, quick and easy makeup kits um, and it just arrived. So we're gonna be opening this up uh, and then basically doing a full face of Charlotte Tilbury. I don't feel like I have uh, done that in a really, really long time. And there's so many products of hers that I love that I just don't get to use as often as I would like. So I thought I would take the opportunity to uh, kind of dig through my Charlotte Tilbury collection and kind of pull out my favorites. And at the same time, uh, play with this new kit and give you my first impressions thoughts on the kit. So uh, she just came out with these quick and easy makeup kits. Uh, let me find a box cutter and open this up. And I believe there's five different sets. Now, when I went online, they all looked fairly similar. I mean, you could see some of the differences in some of the tones, um, but I picked the one, I don't remember the name at the moment, but I picked the one that I think was the most peachy looking. So what did I order? I ordered Quick and Easy Makeup Set Pretty Fresh. That is the shade that I got. So these little makeup kits look like, and this really appealed to me because I'm an ex-smoker, and they look like they were in these uh, basically like cigarette cases. So here is the outer box packaging. The case, this is actually really cool. So this is all hard plastic, and then this flips up. And if any of you are smokers out there, this, the picture of this, I was like, oh, looks like cigarettes. <laughs> I got very nostalgic. Anyway, we have three products in here. We have a really nice big mirror. This is really neat. I, I have to say, I really like this packaging. This is going to be great for travel. Um, but we've got three cream products in here. So um, there's the same type of products in each uh, set, in each five of the sets. Um, but the sh again, the shades are slightly different, but they're all kind of similar. So I got the one that I thought I would like the most. Um, so this one is the Easy Eye Wand, and they're all labeled in the front there. There we go. They're all labeled there. Um, so there's no cap to this. So it's not like you can use these separately. That's interesting. Um, it's actually just the product. So... Um, yeah, I guess they all have to live in this case. Um, so Easy Eye Wand, the one that I got, do they have shade names? This is, nope, just Pretty Fresh Eyes. Okay, let me swatch all of these. So there is the eye shade, beautiful cream color. I wonder if this is like their Color Chameleon eyes? I don't think so. I mean, I, it's different looking and it feels a little creamier than those color chameleon pencils. But anyway, um, that is Pretty Fresh Eyes. And then Easy Lip and Cheek Wand. That's what's in the middle here. And here is, this is basically the reason why I got this particular set. Again, this is the one that was the peachiest and the warmest and the most coral, at least according to the pictures. All the other ones looked kind of pinky, rosy in tone. So this is, I'm guessing, yeah, Pretty Fresh Lips and Cheeks. And this kind of reminds me of their, I don't think they make them anymore, but the Charlotte Tilbury, it was like a a cream cheek stick. Was it the, I can't remember if it was like the Ibiza stick or if Ibiza was the color that I had. But anyway, this kind of reminds me of that product. Um, that's a really pretty coral color. I'm glad I got this one. Okay, so I'm gonna stick that back in. And then last we have an easy highlighter wand that's the one all the way on the right and this one oh actually has a name this one is chic glow so that is chic glow wow that's pretty Whew. i'll tell you there is like no better time to have released this product i feel like more and more people are traveling again and in the spring summertime at least i know personally i love uh like cream products so i'm really excited to try these out but like I said, I wanted to do a full face of Charlotte Tilbury. So let's start with some primer and foundation and all that good stuff before we get into this kit. So we're gonna start with the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I have not used this product in so long and I love this product. It's just one of those that's just fallen to the wayside. It was like in the back of my drawer, like had rolled all the way into the back and I was like, oh my God, Michelle, pull that out. So I'm just gonna use this, not all over my face, but just kind of like a, like a highlighty, primer situation. And I'm just gonna use my Laura Mercier. This is the cheek color brush, but it's like a flat paddle brush, which I like to use uh, with cream products if I'm applying them in like targeted areas. So 
just gonna apply that here. And I do have all my skincare down, so I don't feel like I need to put um, primer all over my face. I have like sunscreen down and everything. So we're just gonna put those to add just a little bit of extra glow before I put down foundation. And I wanna use the Beautiful Skin Foundation. As you guys know, that's one of my all-time favorite foundations. It is by far my favorite foundation of Charlotte Tilbury's. And I have that in the shade Two Neutral. And this is another one. I haven't used this in a while because I've been testing stuff out and yeah. Anyway, I'm glad that I am pulling this back out and using this today. So I'm just gonna squeeze a couple pumps onto my fingers. I'm actually gonna just use my fingers and work this in. As you guys know, I usually use a brush, but I don't know, today I feel like using fingers. Let's see what happens. You definitely get a fuller coverage when you use your fingers, I guess because the tool you're using, your fingers, really isn't absorbing much of the product, unlike a sponge or a brush. And I always forget that. I'm like, oh wow. <laughs> Look at all this coverage, but oh, it's so beautiful. God, I love this foundation. The tone of the shade is like so, so perfect for me, right? There's like, you can literally barely detect the difference between my face and my neck. It's so good. So that is the Beautiful Skin Foundation. So I am gonna put on a little bit of powder and I tend to like to use powder before cream products because I feel like it's giving the cream products something to kind of stay on. So it'll be a good test to see also if these cream products do work well over powder. Um, so I've got the Charlotte Tilbury, you know, her famous airbrush flawless finish, skin perfecting micro powder. I have it in the shade one fair. I'm just gonna use my fluffy refer number 30 brush and just lightly pounce all over. Got another product of Charlotte Tilbury's I really love. I just haven't used lately. And then I have the Hollywood, no, the film star. <laughs> I like call everything Hollywood or pillow talk or whatever, and I forget the actual name. Anyway, this is the film star bronze and glow. I think this is, this is one of the first products of Charlotte Tilbury's that I use that really made me kind of fall in love with the brand because the tone of this sculpt powder is so perfect for that brontour situation. I think it warms up my skin, but it's also cool enough that I can use this contour. So I'm actually gonna use it as, predominantly as contour today. Let me pull out my Sonia G brush. Here we go. I want you to use the Sculpt One brush. I'm just gonna wipe it off on my towel here and apply under my cheekbones and around the perimeter of my face here. Okay. Done with the sculpting powder. Um, let's jump over to this uh, quick and easy set now. So I'm gonna start with the uh, lip and cheek wand. And that's the one that's in the middle, the peach one. Now I will say, once you get some product on your hands and they're a little bit slippery, because there's no texture on these products, sometimes they're, it's a little hard to get out. Oh, there we go. Should I just draw right on? Let me just draw right on. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna dot a little bit and then use my finger. I would imagine that's the quickest and easiest way to apply makeup. And since these are quick and easy kits, I'm hoping fingers work. Yeah, that blended out pretty easily. Um, I'm gonna actually take my finger and run it across the stick and then dab from there. The reason why I don't want to like apply too much straight from the stick is because I have that powder down. And so I feel like, you know, when I get the product on my fingers and then I just kind of press it in, it just behaves a little bit better. A really pretty flush, gorgeous. Gorgeous. I will say the finish of the stick is definitely on the matter side. Again, I am applying this over powder, so um, if there's just a little bit of sheen, I think you probably won't see it. But yeah, it is definitely kind of like a like a straight up sort of situation. Like there really isn't much of a sheen to it. I think any sort of glisten you may see is just the fact that it's a cream product. But it's pretty uh, straightforward, I guess you could say, in terms of a cheek product. Nothing 
Nothing too shimmery, nothing too shiny, just a plain old cream product. So that's really nice, and that'll be a nice contrast to this highlight, which looks very, very wet looking. Uh, let me go ahead and apply to this cheek here. And it does apply very nicely over powder. It's not like picking up or doing anything weird or kind of uh, balling up or doing anything like that. So that is good. This color is very, very pretty. I'm so glad I got this one. This is pretty fresh. All right, and now for the Easy Highlighter Wand in Chic Glow. I am going to do the same thing. I'm just gonna run my finger over this. It, this one is much more emollient than the uh, Cheek, the Lip and Cheek stick. It is like much softer feeling for sure. And I'm just gonna tap this on. Ooh, this is so pretty. Ooh, really, really pretty. I just love a cream highlight. I think they just give the best effect, you know? It's not too much, like a powder highlight can sometimes just look too stripey and too stark. But this is very pretty. There's like a slight sheerness to it, and it definitely um, doesn't feel quite as emollient on the cheek. I don't know if it sets down completely, but it's not, it's not super tacky or sticky, which is great. And I've gotten into this uh, kind of weird habit, almost by accident, that after I put on highlight is when I determine whether or not I need concealer. So after I put highlighter on, sometimes I feel like because it's it brightens up this area so much, it often makes my under eyes look darker. So before I put on highlight, I'm usually like, well, I'm okay, I don't know if I need uh, concealer today. And then after I put on highlight, oftentimes I'm like, oh, I really need to kind of brighten up my under eyes. So I kind of started to like do all of this and then I'll put on concealer afterwards. I know that's very weird because then you have to kind of do powder again. Um, but I'm just wondering now, I'm kind of doing a little of assessment. I feel like this eye looks darker than this eye. Um, yeah, maybe I'll just add a little bit. I'm gonna use the uh, Charlotte Tilbury, what is this called? This is like more of a color corrector, but I love using it as a concealer. I use shade number one, Fair. So this is the one that comes in the little compact and I really, really love it. So I'm just gonna tap a little bit right in that area that looked a little bit dark. Yeah, like right here. And then what I'll do, since I don't wanna like powder my face all over again, I'll just uh, pick some up with my finger and like press it onto my concealer. So I just have the Airbrush Flawless Skin Perfecting Micro Powder, whatever it's called, <laughs> powder. And I'm just pressing it over that concealer. Yeah, I think that did a good job kind of brightening up that area. Yeah, and the highlight is still there. Okay, <laughs> uh, moving on, let's do uh, brows. All right, I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat in, oh, it's natural brown. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pencil in. This has like one of those teeny tiny teardrop shaped tips. So it's not exactly round. It's not exactly one of those skinny slanted ones. Um, it's very uh, interesting and it's actually very, very effective. Okay, brows are done. Uh, going back to this uh, kit here, and we're gonna go to the Easy Eye Wand now. I'm really excited for this. This looks like a really beautiful, um, kind of like a warm champagne shade. So I'm just going to, straight from the crayon, kind of just draw over my lid. I'm just gonna be doing a one and done eyeshadow look today and just gonna blend this out. Now this, in terms of um, cream shadow sticks that I've used, like the Bobbi Brown, the Laura Mercier, the By Terry, those are all a little bit creamier than this one. This one has a little bit of like, um, it's not sticking, tackiness, a little bit of tackiness to it. It's a little bit denser than those. A little bit less slippy going on. Yeah, like there's a little bit more drag when I um, use this pencil over my eyelid versus those other, other shadow sticks I've used. Okay, really nice and subtle. I mean, it's, I don't know if you can see because the lights are blown out, but 
It's uh, very obvious that I have something on my eyes though. There's like a nice pretty satin shimmer. This is a teensy bit warmer than my um, actual skin tones. So it's pretty, it's pretty, it's very subtle. It's pretty, of course you can go ahead and add some other eye products in there, but I feel like the point of this really is to kind of like simplify and like pare down your routine. It's sort of like an on the go situation. And that really, really, speaks to me, <laughs> that really works for me. So I think I'm just gonna leave this as is. Um, I may add a little bit of eyeliner. I guess it depends on where I'm going or what I'm doing. Um, so let me pull out um, my double-ended Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner that I love. Okay, again, I'm struggling trying to find the name on this pencil. Okay, it is the Hollywood Exaggerize Liner Duo. So these duos, there was like a metallic side and then a matte side and she had like all of those different shades. Anyway, I just really like this one because this one looks nice on the waterline and then this one's just like a matte black. Um, so I'm just gonna use this very, very sparingly. I feel like a black eyeliner really will like vamp up a look very quickly and I don't wanna do that. I, again, I wanna keep this kind of very clean and simple and like a quick look. Um, so I'm just going to um, tight line with this just a little bit here. Yeah, just accent the lashes a little bit, like the base of my lashes. Yeah, just just a slight accent there. And then I'm gonna take this lighter metallic side and draw onto my waterline. I feel like I can layer this eye wand. I'm actually just gonna add a little bit more of this eye wand here. Cause I wanna see if you can build it up. Yeah, I definitely see more of the warmth there now that I'm adding a second layer. So if you want something a little bit more obvious, I guess you could say, or a little bit more prominent on the eyelids, you can add a second layer. Ooh, that's very pretty. I picked good. I feel, I feel like I was on the site trying to decide which set I wanted for, I mean, for a long time. I was like, well, maybe I'll wear the pink more, but the coral is more like summertime. Yeah, I was really, I was really going through it. But anyway, um, let me go ahead and curl my eyelashes and then we'll come back and apply some mascara. Now, the team over at Charlotte Tilbury was kind enough in sending me their latest uh, Pillow Talk push-up lashes in the shade Dream Pop. So I believe up until now, they've only had it in um, black. Uh, and now this Dream Pop, at least according to this sticker here, looks like it's gonna be like a warm brown, which is really interesting. So I thought I would give this a shot. Here is the packaging. It looks just like the other uh, Pillow Talk mascara. And let's take a look at this color. Oh, wow. It's a, actually a lot more um, brownish red than I thought, and a lot lighter than I thought. You know, sometimes you like pull out a dark brown mascara and it's like just, you can just barely see that it's brown. This is like very obvious. How cool. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, because this brush is kind of like a paddle, there's only bristles along the edges. You're supposed to smear the mascara on with like one of the flat edges and then brush it out with the bristles. Okay, now I'm going to turn and use the bristles, kind of brush it through. Oh, how cool. Yeah, I can definitely see that it's not a black mascara, but it doesn't look like a crazy colored <laughs> mascara. It just looks like a, like a light, a light touch to the lashes. All right, mascara is applied. So lastly, we have lips. And so this um, cheek stick is meant also to work for the lips. So I'm curious to see if this product is gonna work on both my cheeks and my lips. I think it works beautifully on my cheeks. Blend it out nicely, it seems to be staying put. It's not fading or doing anything weird so far. Um, but a lot of times I don't like products uh, for both lips and cheeks, or I don't like them for one or the other. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and just put it on my lips and see what happens. I can already tell this is gonna be a little bit too drying for my lips. Can you see it's very matte? And that tends to be the case for most lip and cheek products for me. Like I'll like it for the cheek, don't like it for the lips, or I like it for the lips and it ends up being too emollient for the cheeks. 
And in this case, I like it for the cheeks because of kind of the, uh, the staying power that it has, but I feel like this is going to um, dry up my lips. But I think I could probably throw some gloss over this and make it feel a little bit better. Let me, let me go dig some out. So the only uh, lip glossy, lip oil uh, type of product that I have from Charlotte Tilbury is the Charlotte's Magic Lip Oil Crystal Elixir. And I have it in the shade Rose Lust. And this is the one where you kind of squeeze and it's got that ball on top. So I'm actually gonna do it onto the back of my hand and then dab it onto my lips. Otherwise I feel like this is gonna get real gunky. <laughs> so I just rolled some onto my uh, hand back there. Then I'm gonna pick it up and press it onto my lips. Ah, that made all the difference. Magic lip oil. And it gave my lips a little bit of a glow, which I like. It kind of softened the edges there. Yes, I think this made all the difference. Mm, I love it. Feels great now. All right, so that is my full face of Charlotte Tilbury featuring the new quick and easy uh, makeup kit. I really, I really love this. I love this case. I love um, the products that are included. I love that they're cream products. Yeah, I just love the whole idea of it. I think it's great to throw into your purse. I think it's great for travel. I do really love how the products were formed, uh, like I just was talking about. I feel like the cheap lip and cheek stick is a little bit too dry for my lips. I have very, very dry skin. But just adding a little bit of that oil on top fixed it right up. And I'm really glad that I got this pretty fresh kit because I love this coral color for the spring, summer months. Just so pretty it's so bright it's so fresh i just i love it it's pretty fresh <laughs> well i hope you enjoyed that video let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe down below if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video